Hello, crafty friends. Today I am going to share with you this loaded steampunk altered bag that I did for a swap on Amazing Crafters. So I'm going to take it all apart and show you everything that's in it and a better view of the actual envelope itself. So I had a lot of fun making this. Um, also had some frustration making it. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to kind of pull everything out and then I will go through um, everything and show you all of it after I get it all out because it will be easier to kind of go through it all at once. And what I'm kind of doing is just sort it by whether it's stuff that I made or stuff that's store bought. So I had a lot of fun. So what I'm going to do first is I'm going to come over here and try to give you guys a close up. So this is just one of those lunch bags. Um, and you fold the bottom part up to make a pocket. And you cover it in paper. And what I did for the paper, I'll go over here because I have a piece of that here. So this is just regular craft, brown craft stock, card stock, 65 weight from Michaels. And what I did was I used distress inks in uh, vintage photo, walnut, and ground espresso. Did you know? Put them onto my mat, sprayed it with water, did the dippy thing, dried it, dipped again, and all that to get kind of this thing. Then I dried it and then I went to my um, Spellbinder Platinum 6 and I used a embossing folder called Damask from Dars. And probably pronouncing that wrong. Dyrus, whatever, okay. I misted this lightly with water and then put it into my embossing folder and ran it through a couple of times to get it nice and deeply embossed. So anyway, that's what I used. And I'm just including that in the bag because I did two sheets cut into five by sevens. So I made four pieces and I didn't need all four pieces. But anyway, that's kind of what I did here. And it's what I put on the front of the pocket. It's what I put on the back of the bag and then I decided to make pockets on the back of the bag as well. On the inside of the bag, I don't know how well that shows up or it does show it better. Inside of the bag, I use this paper. It's from uh, Tattered and Worn. It's one of the ones that you can get from um, Hobby Lobby. And I line the back and the front of the bag. Now on the sides, the gussets, both front on the outside and then on the inside, I used um, the Tim Holtz Black Soot Distress Ink. And I went around and I distressed that and I also distressed all my edges because I really didn't want the brown paper bag to show because I didn't think it looked right. So I didn't want it to be brown. So I went for the black. I split the front of my bag down and then curled it out. Um, and then I put on this pretty ruffled, double ruffled black lace. I added in a piece of um, this leather trim. It's actually it's from the beading department. It's yeah, this stuff here. Anyway, um, <clears throat> I added some patina in. If you can see, I added like patina on the paper. I did that just using um, this craft. I think I got this at Michael's, but you can get these anywhere. They're little, I got them on sale, I think, when they were like 50 cents or something. And this is called Ocean. It's just kind of a bluey green. Anyway, I just put a little dot on my mat, added water to it, and got it real watery, and then just took my finger, and then I sprayed some more water onto it to make it kind of run, and then I dried it with my heat gun to give it kind of a little patina-y look. And then I did the same thing here with my, um, my gears I added in some patina and this is just a little cameo that I had from someplace cute little metal tag that says friends I thought that was cute 
you can't really see <laughs> this paper that much because I added the pockets. But there's a few gears right here. This is from a tablet called Romance, and I don't remember. It's a little six by six, and I don't remember. Anyway, they had this typeset one that I made, a pocket. Then this is a piece of paper that I got, and I have no idea what brand it is or anything else. I got this as some mixed lot off of eBay. And I just happened to say, oh yeah, I remember I have some things, and that would go great for a steampunk. So it's like a little top hat, so I made a pocket. So that's basically my envelope, okay? And I showed you the leather with the paper that I made. Then I made these little shaker clothespins. So, or not clothespins, paper clips, eh, interchangeable words. And on the back, I don't know how well it'll show up on there. Does it? I can't tell. Anyway, I stamped it in Boston Owl on the back. So, this is just a bottle cap. When Hobby Lobby was having their fabulous sale, I got a container of bottle caps. As you can see, they're silver. I used alcohol ink and I mixed um, current and still. And I painted inside and outside of the bottle cap. Then on the inside, I just added, there's a little gear in there. Yeah, I think that is showing a little gear. Some little beads, um, some sequins, a little bit of gold glitter. And then a piece of laminate, which this is just like what you use for overhead projectors. I found a pack, I mentioned this in another video, from like 20 years ago when I was working on my master's. I came across it. I keep everything. Anyway, um, and then just some gold micro beads around the edge. And I made two of these. I did them both the same. I stamped owls on the back and everything. And these paper clips also were from the Hobby Lobby. Um, great 75% off sale. And these were red. And I didn't want them to be red. So I'll see if you can... Oops. Uh, where, where do I need to go? Okay, here we go. Toward me. Okay, you can kind of see. I grunged them up using alcohol ink and just painted it onto the red so it wouldn't be so bright. Okay, let's see. And then because I just decided I really enjoyed making these, I made some more paper clips. So these, damn, okay, I'll get this right somehow. So these are just some gears. I've put a couple of different gears together, layered them, and then these are just some little seed beads. So I kind of made like a steampunk flower. That's what it's supposed to be anyway. And I just put them onto these metal paper clips, which they're, and these were silver and I didn't want them to be silver. So I used alcohol ink to kind of grunge it up. And I made two. And then I made a clothespin. So this was just a plain wooden clothespin. I took some black craft paint and I used my finger and not a brush and just kind of rubbed it on because I didn't want it to really coat it black black. I wanted it to look grungy and worn. And then I had a bronze or copper or something like craft paint that had some glitter in it. And I kind of just took my finger there again and rubbed it. And then I layered some little gears and glued them on. And so that makes my little paper clip. And a lot of times when I make um, loaded envelopes or loaded bags, I make a rosette. But I didn't think a rosette really was what I wanted for steampunk. So instead, I made a paper clip using a really big paper clip, which I'm sharing some with my um, partner. But they're these really huge paper clips. They're, what are they? One, two, three, they're four inches. They're four inches long, one inch wide, so they're big. And I think I got those at Tuesday morning, but you can get them different places. Anyway, so I punched out a piece of um, matte paper. This was from a set that I got from Hobby Lobby. A little um, thing that says hello, a little sticker that says explore. And then I had backed it and some purple cardstock. And I didn't like it being plain, so I don't know how well that's showing up. Oh, there, yeah, it's showing up. 
So I did some stamping and embossing onto the back. So I have like a compass rose, a U.S. airmail, a piece of a map, another airmail, another airmail, um, the map, the like the flight patterns going on it, and then I embossed it. So I thought that came out kind of cool because I didn't want it to be plain. So I'm using this instead of a rosette. Then I made a couple of journaling, journaling cards. This is from the um, Romance tablet as well that I don't see laying around, so I can't tell you who it's from, which irritates me because it should just kind of be like, oh wait, I think I see it. Uh, what is it? It's a neat tablet. I've used it for a lot of different things. I. Oh, it's from Prima, Romance, Romance Nouvelle. And I don't know where I got it. My girl's Hobby Lobby, Joanne's, I don't know. Okay, anyway, so I cut a piece from there and then just backed it with some coffee stained paper for writing. A little sticker that says journal. Same thing here, that's a piece of paper out of there. Um, and a sticker that says plan. And then just some coffee stained paper on the back for journaling. Uh, and then I made some tags. So this tag has a piece of burnt map paper, a navigation sticker, some gears, a piece of that leather trim. This is a piece off of a page. This was out of a pad called Haberdashery that I got from uh, Hobby Lobby. And this was really just like got craft paper collar, but I took some finished photo and came in here and rubbed it over here because it really makes the numbers stand out on the piece of this clock. Then I just scrunched up the back. Then I made this one using like a purple cardstock. I stamped, I don't know how well that's showing up the camera does. Anyway, I stamped with just a scripted background stamp, a piece of chain, Another, this is a piece of the, what you saw on the other one, but on this one, I did not go in and stain it. I just left it. And then this is like embossed, which it already was. I added a little gear. The back is just plain. Um, I made another tag. This is actually, this is using the same paper that I lined the back, the inside of the bag with from the uh, Tattered and Worn collection. This was a piece of craft um, scrapbook paper that just looked like it had writing on it that I tore. A little sticker that I tore out, a little bird cage, piece of chain. This is from the haberdashery pad I cut her out. Actually, I cut her off the cover because the one inside was she was too big, but they had a picture of it on the cover, so I cut it out. Some of that lace that I put on the front another piece of lace, and then a little cluster of sequin trim. Grunge up the back, that tag. Then I made some little ATCs. So when I made the pocket on the bag, that only took a part of the piece of that paper, so I had a piece of paper left. And what I did was I cut it down and to, uh, there was enough to make two ATCs, so that's what I did. So I cut it down and then I backed it with just another piece of craft paper and I wrote the information. And so what I called these, what I titled these is a uh, place in time. And so then I did that and the date and my name and my contact and one of two, cause I made two. So I did a hand torn card out of that um, scripted scrapbook paper, some sequins, some hands, a little piece of that lace and I put gears coming around it. And I thought it came out really cute. And then I made a second ATC using a little piece of matte paper, more of that chain, a keyhole, um, a little metal flower, and that put some seed beads in the middle. This little cork bottle, I got it in some lot, and it has like a little piece of paper and some little beads. I didn't put those in there. This was already in there, so I have no idea if that paper says anything. I didn't take it out. I just wrapped the chain around and attached it. Same thing on the back. Did it, put my information, um, and it's two of two. Okay, so then that's the stuff I made. 
And then in addition to that, I'm including some other things. I have these little leather um, alphabet stickers. Dazzle Vintage Car Stickers. This is a pad that I got at Joanne Fabrics. I bought like three different ones, and now I'm wishing I had bought more. I was there. This is their Mrs. Sparkle collection. It was on sale for 50% off, and then I had another coupon that was 20% off. So these are $1.99 regularly, so it was a dollar, and then I had another 20% off. So I kind of wished I had picked up more. But anyway, I'm putting in this because it's not specifically steampunk, but it's the black and the gold, so I thought it looked good. This is a little Heidi Swap uh, photo album, mini album, that I got. I think I got this in grab bags from Michaels last year, I think. But anyway, I picked it because of the design. Not particularly because it's got the little camera and it's got the maps on it. And this is very heavyweight cardstock. It's really heavy. Probably like cereal box weight, just about. Anyway, so when you open it up, it has the pages, obviously, where you can put, you know, the photo and stuff. And then it has some of those photo pockets. And then it just has these neat little things like the airmail envelope, then another photo pocket, then this with the writing on it, another photo pocket, like a leisure paper type thing, and another photo pocket. So what I figured is my partner can use this as a little mini photo album for, you know, a trip if she wants. Or this is some neat ephemera to take apart. I mean, we all love those photo pockets that you can make things with. And like I said, and this is some neat ephemera that you can pull apart and use. And for that matter, the same thing with the cover with the map and everything. So I figured there's possibilities. Use it for what it's for or huh, turn it into something else. And I had a few of these that I got in some lot that I bought off of eBay. I look around for mixed lots of stuff at good prices, and I'll purchase them if I can get them at a really good price. So sometimes I have all kinds of electric stuff. This is from Michaels because it has Michaels tag on the back. That's the only reason I know where it's from. But anyway, it's like a pocket watch face that you could, you know, decorate or alter. And then what I think is really neat is the card that's in here is like this feather leaves written card. So, and it's just blank on the back. So. Could easily second piece of ephemera. These also I got in some lot, and they also happen to be from Michaels. But you know, it's like bird cage and key, and then these little enamel pieces. So I thought that was cute. A little metal frame, and these I thought were cute. These are I don't know how well that's showing up. It is. I don't. It's hard for me to tell if it's in focus. Okay. They're little letters, and they go on to, like, your 3 16th of an inch ribbon, and then you use them to make, like, little banners or something to attach. Well, obviously, it's for scrapbooking, but, you know, we could use that in any of our projects or anything else that you might want to do that with. Then some of this um, gunmetal colored chain from Beads, and then... Like I said, I'm giving her two copper and two black of these giant paper clips that I had got from Tuesday mornings. So that's all my little goodies. At the moment, who knows, I may find something else that I want to stick in. I have some Dove Hop dark, cho dark chocolate hearts. And I think I might put a few of those... But I'll put those into a little bag because I wouldn't. It's been chilly, but eh, who knows? If I tried to strip chocolate, it would melt. Alrighty, so I'm going to put this stuff back in. So I'm matching these two because they're both tall up. And I'm putting them toward the back. And I'm putting them together so that I don't just have the back of something showing from the back of the bag. Let's put the tablet in. Oh, yes. My little extra piece of leatherish paper in. And then, okay. Put 
camel book in. Letters. Frames. Um, where's my journal cards? Here's my journal cards. I want to get my journal cards and I'm going to stick my clothespin on those. And I'm going to stick them in here. I'm going to stick my little ATCs in. Okay. And then here in the front pocket, I'm going to put my paper clips in here. Um, I've got this little package of beading in here. Uh, I'm going to take one of these and kind of stick it in there. Um, my paper clips. Yeah, so I'm going to take them in here. Oh, that's too thick. I'll clip one back here. Okay. Um, oh. flowers in. Okay. This is going to go, I'm going to clip it to the back of the bag. I'm just kind of lean it over a little bit. There we go. And then when we get back to the back, that's really just my tags. So my little fat pack here is going to go up here in the top. Let's tag will go here. And uh, my little navigation tag, I'm kind of stick it behind it, stick it down. Let's see, pull that one up a little bit more. And add my little shaker clip here. Okay. And then we have my bag back together. And like I said, I think this is it, though I might end up putting something else in it if I come across some more little goodies. Anyway, as you can see, it's a really good loaded bag because you can see the gussets are nice and stretched out. It's pretty heavy, so I have a feeling I'm going to put this into a flat rate envelope, padded envelope, because it's pretty heavy with all this metal stuff. I think I'm done, but I may find some more goodies, but I had just wanted to share this and one of these days I'm going to make a video on the process of actually making the bag. Anyway, I had a lot of fun. I hope my partner will enjoy this when she receives it. And I hope everybody is having a fabulous day. Thank you.